In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your WinForms or WPF applications to the latest.NET. I will use .NET Upgrade Assistant tool for that. In my Visual Studio, I already have the extension installed, but if you don't have, you can go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and search for .NET Upgrade Assistant. Once you install this extension, you will be able to right-click in the Solution Explorer on the project file and see the menu option Upgrade. So here I have a WPF simple demo app, and upgrades for BeanForms will look exactly the same. So right now you can see it is targeting .NET Framework 4.8, and I want to move it to the latest .NET. So I'm going to click uh, Upgrade. And here is the Upgrade Assistant that is going to help me upgrade my project. Uh, the first question it asks me is what type of upgrade I would like to do. And here I see only two types. Uh, upgrade Assistant analyzes my project and suggests only types of upgrades that make sense for me. So if you see different amount of those upgrade types for different projects, that's, accept, uh, that's expected. In my case, it offers me in-place upgrade, which means that it will modify my original code. Or another option is side-by-side -side project upgrade, where it will create a copy of my project and leave my original project untouched and just modifies the copy. I'm going to choose side by side. And the next question I'm getting from Upgrade Assistant is if I want to create a new project for my upgrade, or do I already have existing project in which I would like to upgrade? I don't have any other project, so I asked the Upgrade Assistant to create a new project for me. I'm going to specify the name. Let's do demo. Net 8. And here I am going to choose the version of the .NET I want to upgrade to. It will offer me current long-term support, standard term support, or preview version. Once we release .NET 8 in November, the long-term support will be .NET 8. I will choose .NET 8, click Next, and on the next screen, it shows me all the components of my application that it's going to upgrade. If I prefer to do it gradually and do like some steps at a time, I can uncheck certain things. But in my case, I'm going to leave everything checked and click Upgrade Selection. Here you can see the progress of Upgrade Assistant doing his job. And uh, for every green filled in checkbox like this one, it means that it successfully modified my file. For every not filled green checkbox, it means that this file was already compatible and there was no need for Upgrade Assistant to change anything. As a result, we have 10 succeeded, 0 failed, and 12 files skipped. And now, in my Solution Explorer, you can see that I have my original WPF demo project, and I also have a new project WPF demo.NET 8. If I go to Properties for this new project, I can see that now it is targeting .NET 8. So that's how easy, in just a few seconds, I ported my WPF project from .NET Framework to the latest .NET. Just to recap, in this video, you've learned how to upgrade your WinForms and WPF projects from older .NET Framework to the latest .NET using .NET Upgrade Assistant. And you can read more about uh, this in our docs at aka.ms slash .NET UA desktop. Thank you for watching and happy porting.